We have new details tonight on a missing kayaker who disappeared Saturday in Coco Lake. Daniel Potter has not been found, but his wife tonight is sharing her concern after an upsetting discovery she and her daughter made. CBS 4's Ted Scout is live in Coconut Creek, and Ted, this has got to be so agonizing for that family. Yeah, Elliot, that family tonight is calling this a nightmare that simply will not end. Dan Potter has been missing since Saturday. Now his wife and daughter are desperate for answers. Like, where is he? It's awful. It's absolutely awful. Nothing I can even imagine. It's a dream that is a nightmare that I've come out of here. Justine Potter is scared and desperate for answers. Her husband, Dan, who's an avid fisherman, went out on his canoe Saturday and hasn't returned. How do you disappear a man who fishes his whole life in a, in a canoe or a boat and never not not fine not come back after days of looking searchers have turned up nothing justine and her daughter however made a frightening discovery on the shore of coco lake the that we found were the paddle which is from his boat they also found his flip-flops justine tells us dan has heart issues she's afraid something happened on the water I think the worst i think he was fishing and maybe he got a little dizzy or he stood up and the boat rocked a little and he maybe fell and the boat maybe hit him in the head or he just couldn't get up and, and keep his head up to swim. Now the nonprofit group Guardians for the Missing are joining in the search. She has a sonar that I believe has like a 40 foot radius that she goes, you know, can detect if it's a boat if, or if it's a car and then she'll tag it. And then she has divers that will come out and go into the water and look to see what she found. They've been searching the water, crisscrossing the lake, hoping to find anything. Meanwhile, Coconut Creek police are going door to door in the Coco Lake neighborhood, asking for any information. If anyone has seen anything, has seen him, whether it's on foot, or have seen a piece of clothing, anything, anything. At this point, I'm beyond desperate. And that group, Guardians for the Missing, said they did find one area of interest that they want divers to take a closer look at. The family's telling us that those divers should be out here around noon tomorrow. Live in Coconut Creek, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.